Hello everyone, welcome back to the Narvan 3 car project troll videos. So we are all done with the assemblies. Um, and now we'll jump into creating those drawings. So we'll start with uh, creating drawings for the sub assemblies first. Um, and then we'll create some explosion views and then create the main assembly uh, drawings. Uh, again, so again, like we've done in the past, right, creating the drawings is uh is a bit easier than actually creating the part right because the part is already created uh, we're basically just referencing the uh required geometry to create that part uh it's a bit different with assembly right we want to show the bill of materials uh the quantity of what we need uh from e or how many components we need um but it's pretty much the same as uh, the same we're gonna follow the same procedure uh, from the previous drawings that we've created in the past. So uh, what I want to do here, I'm just going to go to File, New, Drawing. Uh, well, I'm going to do it the other way, right? Because since I already have my template folder, I'm going to utilize my MCC Inch Drawing and click OK. And let me pull this up. Um, so it's basically, we're just going to, we'll start with creating, oh, we'll start with creating the drawing for the front wheel assembly. Again, we already created the exploded view, so this shouldn't be, it should be pretty straightforward to basically uh, place it. And uh, as you can see, it's a sub-assembly, so we really don't call dimensions. Um, the only thing is just basically showing the three parts and the bill of materials for that. So um, I'm going to browse and let's import. Find my car assemblies. Uh, let's do the front wheel assembly. And let's do open. Um, and right here we can do show an exploded or model break state. So let's do exploded view. That's what we want. I'm gonna place it here. Oops. I believe I want this view. I need this view. Um, and here you can also come here. Uh, okay, go to the your view palette um, and just go to your isometric exploded. You can grab that in. Uh, again, depending on how. Uh, you built and what plane you utilize, you might want to utilize a different plane or a projected view to create this view. Uh, but it's pretty straightforward. Uh, I know my scale is two to one. So one thing I notice is that uh, this is a bit long. So let's do the shift format. Maybe move this here. I'll slide that back. Let's see if we can fit all this. Perfect, that, that works better. Place this here just to make sure I get my format, everything within those uh, guidelines I created. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna right click here, just gonna go to properties, and I'm just gonna change the scale two to one by changes. Uh, again, I'm having this issue because I'm using a laptop. Um, that it says it's not located, but actually, it is there if I hit cancel. Oops, uh, is this uh, use sheet scale? Okay, so for the scale, if I use custom scale, it's gonna use whatever custom scale I have here. But I wanna make sure that this is toggled to using the sheet scale, right? As I change this scale on the sheet, if I go back now, I change that to one and one. Oops. Uh, it automatically changes, so I'm gonna click a link to that sheet scale. So make sure your uh, drawing is, uh, the scale is use sheet scale. Properties, let's do the one. Um, what I wanna do here, I wanna click on the drawing view and I'm gonna go to, let's do tables. I'm gonna do bill of materials. That's what I wanna insert. So top, lo uh, top level only, uh, so pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna keep the standards 
and I'm gonna insert, I'm gonna just, if you get close, it snaps to that uh, corner. That's where I want it. Um, it tells me the quantity, the description, the part number. Um, so if I do auto balloon, let's see if that works for this. Um, I'm gonna click okay. And you can move this, right? You can move where your balloon is. So I'm just gonna try and get it close. Maybe put this in the center on that edge. Uh, maybe we can move this here. I want it to reference the edge. Oops. Yep. Um, what, you, what you can also do is this, this magnetic line. So if I draw a magnetic line, I can include all these. What that does is you, as you move that line, all, all, all of them are um, connected. In this case, I don't want that, but we will utilize that later on. So I'm just gonna you can take it out, take him out of that magnetic line. I'm just gonna delete that magnetic line. But uh, with more complex assembly, we'll definitely utilize that. But since this is, I kind of want to show them um, like this. Um, so I really don't need the magnetic line because it gets in the way of my build materials. And we're also with our first drawing, again, it's, it's pretty straightforward process. I'm going to go file, save as, um, so car assemblies, front wheel assembly. Um, let's create um, car uh, assemblies drawings. I'm going to create a new folder here, call it, um, so, assemblies, drawings. I'm going to save that the front wheel assembly. And click save. Again, it grabs all the description because we added a description to it. Um, we're, we're all set with our first drawing. You can go file um, published e drawings if you would like. So, let's go ahead and do that. Perfect. So I have this. You can go file, um, save as. Again, wherever you assembly, let's do this. Um, we're all set with that one. So I'm going to, again, I have it saved. So I'm going to close that out. And let's start a new drawing. Again, it's a pretty straightforward process, so I might uh, go faster for the next uh, two. But let's see. So we've created the front wheel, and we can let's jump to um, let's create the uh, sensor assembly. Again, uh, pretty straightforward, right? We, it's the same thing. Build materials. We have these three parts. So right here, I might create a magnetic line to get them all on the same line. So let's go ahead and create that drawing. I'm going to browse. It's going to you know, go to sensor assembly. Let's import that. And again, I'm going to show an exploded or model break state. I want my exploded view. I want this view. I'm going to click OK. Again, you can come here. and just use your isometric exploded. Um, I don't want to use a custom scale. I'm going to use the sheet scale for this, right? Make sure it's using the sheet scale. So as you modify the sheet scale, that automatically gets updated. Um, and let's, uh, again, let's go into my edit sheet format. Maybe move this a bit. Perfect. And let's uh, change the scale. It's going to be three. So 
to like changes again it is there i'm not sure why solver gives me this error um let's enter a table bill of materials again i'm gonna use the default let's snap it the top let's click on it and it's gonna do let's see if auto ballooning works um, auto balloon so one two three um, I might want to move this oops I want to move my balloon to reference this edge and I'm gonna automatically create this uh, a magnetic line so I can at any point I can add to it right it shows that you I can add or take out so if it's included if I move the uh, tangent um, magnetic line all three move so I move this up so right here um, And we're all set with our second drawing again. It's gonna go fairly quickly for the for this one and the next one. So I'm gonna save as our assembly. So for our assembly's drawings, so assembly's drawings. I'm gonna call this a sensor assembly. Um, and then make sure you publish the e drawings for this. Go to file, save as a uh, sensor assembly. Let's close that up again. I already saved this, so I can close it. Um, last but not least is our uh, C, our motor and bracket assembly. going to be a one to one um, again you can see that we're kind of using magnetic line here a slight angle we have a bill of materials file new again MCC is drawing I'm gonna to browse to my uh, car assemblies motor and bracket assembly open I want to show an exploded view I have my exploded view created I probably want my symmetric view I want that my symmetric view that projected view from that uh, again depending on what plane you used uh, I might want to modify that, so let's let's click the sheet format. Slide these back a bit. That works. Um, let's do let's select it. Click my drawing view. I'm gonna do tables. Bill of materials. I'm gonna click OK. I'll use my standard. Um, let's do let's select it. Let's do auto balloon. Click OK. Um, so I might, might just want to. Go Let's move this magnetic line somewhere here and extend that. And let's add this to it. Um, I also want to add that. I'm going to zoom in and just move this so it's referencing the edge. Oops. Just trying to extend that. And clean this up. Oh. 
Trying to clean this up a bit. Controller enable. Slowly down. My and you want to make sure it's referencing right. So my balloon, which is this one, number two. Item number two is my motor. Motor shaft is three. Um, again, and, and it's because of the order, right? So if you guys remember, we create we imported the bracket first. So that's going to be my item one. We then we imported the motor, then the shaft, then we did the uh, two screws and then we did the uh, gear so it's just basically then that order um, so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna file save as and it's gonna be motor and bracket assembly um, let's do um publish the e-drawings Go to file, save as, motor and bracket assembly. Um, and we're all set with our three drawings for this sub assemblies. So um, I'm going to uh, stop the video and I'm going to create a new video uh, to show some, uh, to go ahead and uh, create some explosion views and then um, uh, uh, finish up the chassis assembly.